Hi everyone, and welcome to my playthrough of Horizon Forbidden West. As of the recording for this introduction, I have finished the main story of the game, so discussions about the storyline are more than welcome in the comments below. I first played Horizon Zero Dawn in the summer of 2020, shortly after the teaser for Forbidden West was shown at the Sony PlayStation 5 showcase. At that same showcase, Ratchet & Clank Rift Apart was shown, which solidified my decision to get a PlayStation 5, so this playthrough of Forbidden West was captured on a PlayStation 5. After playing Horizon Zero Dawn for the first time, it quickly became one of my favorite games, and I was so excited for Forbidden West. I hope that you can see that excitement in the videos for this series. I will warn you that there is crying, there is laughing, there is screaming, and there is squealing. I hope you enjoy watching my first playthrough of Horizon Forbidden West just as much as I enjoyed playing it. And if you do like the video, don't forget to like and subscribe and feel free to leave a comment down below with your thoughts. Am I stalling? Yes. Because am I afraid of my reaction? Also yes. Anyway, uh, we should probably just get into it. I have my emergency crying tissues, my Kirkland brand toilet paper from Costco, right where I need it. Hello, Forever! How much have you played? Okay, Forever. Describe your playthrough so far in one word. One word. So far, we've had the word delicious, which makes me feel so much joy. But I just want to know in one word your playthrough so far. Delight! Okay! Okay! I posted an Instagram story to my personal Instagram with a picture of my screen and <clears throat> said, if you need me this weekend, no, you don't. But if you want to watch me play and cry, here's a link. I'm so glad you're here. I'm so glad. Oh, uh, man. You've been refreshing the YouTube and the wiki and your mind is racing. Also, coffee and adrenaline and sleep is exhaustion. Ash, please take care of yourself. Do not suffer on my behalf. Okay, are you guys ready? Because I feel like I'm gonna, like, shit. I feel like I'm gonna shit a brick. A whole brick. I'm gonna, I'm gonna leave my tracking. I wonder if there's like a way. Well, I guess I could just like hit F5 on my keyboard every so often. Okay. <sighs> okay, this should work. I tested it. I tested it so much. Uh, I, I haven't done anything. I haven't done anything in, in, in options. Um, I probably need to switch some things around, like inverting my controllers. Because that's how I play. Okay, are you guys ready? I'm gonna fucking shit. Okay. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna press go. I'm gonna, I'm gonna say go. I'm gonna do this one. It's loud for me, but I don't know how it is for you guys. Okay, ready? <laughs> English, please. English. Okay, here we go. Um, let's do 65. Oh god. It's PS5. I brought the PlayStation 5 up from the basement. Oh god! I love you, Gorilla. Thank you so much. You're the best. Thank you for making this game. Through a lifetime spent in the pursuit of knowledge, one question consumed me. How did our world come to be? That's a good question. <laughs> it's <was> so pretty. <gasps> a thousand years ago, triggering the extinction of all life. Rust! That's Rust! She Look at baby Aloy! How it was reborn. Look at Aloy! Girl, ignorant of her own importance. 
Through her, I learned that life was only saved through a technological miracle. Zero Dawn. <laughs> Terraforming system composed of nine subordinate functions, each playing its part to reshape Earth from a barren rock to a lush landscape. Tended and protected by the machines. Red Moth! And with her, I learned the deepest secret of them all. The secret of her birth. That she is a clone of Elizabeth Subek, Zero Dawn's creator. Born to prevent a new extinction. Driven by Hades, a malevolent AI. Given sentience by a mysterious signal of unknown origin. And with a little help from me. <laughs> She prevailed in a great <laughs> battle at the city of Meridian. Oh, look at my boys! Becoming a champion for all humankind. But as useful as she has been, now I must leave her behind. For as she strives to put right what Hades sundered, I'm gonna I fuck up. Need a new discovery. What? One that heralds both destruction. That looks like a reaper. It looks like a reaper. It looks like a reaper. I told you. Mass Effect. Mass Effect and Horizon Zero Dawn are linked. I fucking. I said when we were playing. I said when we were playing Horizon Zero Dawn, I said that it reminded me of Mass Effect <clears throat> and that the Deathbringers reminded me of Reapers. That fucking thing looks exactly like a Reaper. We're starting on easy. We are absolutely starting on easy. And if I need to adjust down? <laughs> I will. Oh god. Okay, ready. Uh guided. Okay. Here we go. Oh, little fox. Oh no, is this the one that we see dying? Oh my god, it's vibrating. Look at all the behemoths. of a terraforming system that's spiraling out of control. And only I can fix it. No, you have friends only now! I have your genetic code. You have friends! Let them it help be you! before we hit the point of no return. <laughs> and then... Extinction. I've been searching for months for what I need. A backup of Gaia. The AI you designed to control the system. Same dream. I'm walking under a brilliant night sky through a field of flowers. 
And when I arrive at the center, I see you. Oh my Elizabeth, god! Waiting for me. Oh, Even look at her. Dead for a thousand years. You're the closest person I've ever had to a mother. Stop it! This is too much already! And for a moment, I feel whole. No! <laughs> All I wanted was someone to hug her. <laughs> Dino snapped his fingers. <laughs> I'm always left alone. No, you're not. You're not alone. You're not alone. You're not alone. <laughs> Aloy, please. This world is your legacy, Elizabeth. I won't let it slip away. <laughs> the valley below is my only remaining lead. My last hope to find the backup. I'll do whatever it takes to get it. I promise. Such a big necklace, it's gonna get in the way. Oh my god! Varl! 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 Varl? <laughs> if it isn't Aloy, the savior of Meridian, anointed of the North. You know I hate being called that stuff. Well, consider it a punishment for running out on us the very same night we beat Hades. Oh! I grew up an outcast. Remember, I'm not much for parties. Yeah. That one was in your honor. Look at his beard! <laughs> so, what are we doing? Must be urgent since you left so fast. Delving into ancient ruins? <laughs> or maybe it has something to do with the blight. Both, actually, but, um, I, I should. Oh, no. Aloy! I've been dragging you a long way. It's okay. After everything you've done to help the Nora and my family, I swore an oath to help you, no matter what. But you're stuck with me now. Like bark on wood. <laughs> Look at her face. Okay. But <laughs> if you're going to come with me, you'll need to be able to see what I see. Focus. Never thought I'd get your second sight. I'll give you another one later and show you how to back up your data. Data? <laughs> Information on the device. We've got a lot to cover. Um, I'll have to explain everything as we go. see like this all the time since I was a little girl come on <laughs> no Jill you're allowed all the caps lock all the caps lock shall we on the way here we should find some medicinal plants stock up so it's time for your first lesson with the focus <gasps> i Sounds love good. this is the way they're reintroducing the game <laughs> these plants don't look like the ones in the sacred lands the focus helps you see the ones we need <laughs> okay wait there. okay hold on 
Okay, so this is, I guess, like the little starting area. Can I see any of these? <gasps> oh my god. Un look at all of these. <clears throat> Varl, Elizabeth, Gaia, Travis Tate, Hades, Silence, Rost, Ted Farrow, where is Erend? Are you shitting me right now? Okay, I just want... Oh. Okay, I'm not gonna do that. I just wanted to get those out of my way. Okay, here's... Shin, my alerts are so delayed. Shin, thank you for the 100, 1,000 bits. No, they that... say the user lives outside the net and inputs games for pleasure. No one knows for sure, but I intend to find out. Reboot. Reboot. Flat. Just as God made me. Okay. Warrior Trapper. Unlock new melee combos and increase melee damage and effectiveness. Includes weapon techniques for warrior bows, which specialize in close quarters combat. Trapper. Increase the effectiveness of food and traps and the amount of traps that can be placed. Includes weapon techniques for rope trip casters and rope casters increase range combat effectiveness and improve weapon stamina and concentration includes weapon techniques for hunters and bolt blasters which specialize in mid-range combat increase the effectiveness of healing and potions and gain benefits while in low health includes weapon techniques for blastlings and shredder gauntlets oh that's those fucking like boomerang things Infiltrator, reduce visibility and movement noise, and increase damage dealt while in stealth. Includes, uh, includes weapon techniques for sharp shot bows, those are my favorite, and specialize in long range combat. That's, that's, that's good. I like that. <clears throat> machine Master, increase the effectiveness of overriding machines and the durability and, mach and damage dealt from overridden machines. Weapon techniques for spike throwers, which excel against large machines. Oh, was that like the javelin? I need to override more machines. I didn't really do a lot of that in um, Horizon Zero Dawn. Okay. I got my spear. And I got a hunter bow. And I have my Anora, my Nora anointed. After losing its power source, it was modified to augment ranged combat. Oh my god. Tools, I got rocks, and I got fast travel packs, ammo, I have hard point, no. Oh, hunter arrows, no resources, no strike pieces, and special gear. Those plants by the stream should do the trick. <gasps> Wait. Oh wait. Okay, no, this is this is what I want. Ugh. Bitter? Yeah, well, at least they make you feel better. Alright. Jump. Keep going. What's this? Might want to grab more of these plants along the way. Yes. Yeah, good idea. God, it's so pretty. <gasps> look at this waterfall. <gasps> Eloy, look at your face. Look at your face. <gasps> There's more of the red growths here, too. Examine blight. Oh, I guess yeah. that's like... <laughs> Some of the blight is... it's peeling off. Dead skin. Is that how it spreads? Ugh. 
Ugh, he says. Okay, I guess that's part of like that's where we need to go. The guided. <clears throat> Thank you guys you for the level one hype train. I appreciate you. What are we after exactly? The backup? Oh no! Um, it's an AI. It's um. It's hard to explain. Think of it like a set of instructions that can fix the world. <laughs> Sounds complicated. I don't know how to put these ropes here, but we can use the line to slide down. Notice you're uh, traveling light these days. Yeah, I um, ran into some trouble on the way here. Lost a lot of my gear. <gasps> I want this. Oh god! I just wanted this. <laughs> Uh, almost died already. <gasps> oh my god, that fucking gave me a heart attack. Oh, it's left. Carl, you coming, bro? <coughs> it's hard to breathe around this stuff. Oh, it's like the, uh, the poison in, uh, Kena. Salvaging machine carcasses as usual. And there they are. Looks like they left a carcass behind. Fucking Glintox, man. Okay, let me. Okay. Can I craft? Oh, I don't have any. <clears throat> don't have any Ridgewood. A lot of arrows in that machine. I'm gonna take a closer look. But let me get some. Now can I craft? Yes. <clears throat> oh my god, the water. It says I have... Dye plants? Unlocking outfit dyes? I can dye my outfits? Are you shitting me right now? So this says Aloy Spear. So I guess we... I guess did... I guess Aloy did lose Silence's Spear? But this has the Master Override. I wonder if we can... I was... So, maple syrup still applies here. In case there's, like, anyone that's... I mean, for Jill in, in Forever, I know you guys will be respectful <clears throat> and not answer um, unless I call for some maple syrup. Um... But I'm I I'm wondering it's not in it's not <laughs> I'm wondering if we will have to redo the thank you for the rainbow. Uh I'm wondering if we have to like redo like the uh unlocking to override um the machines we already did in Zero Dawn, unless So I have to rescan them all? I don't like that. Someone took down this machine recently. Who else would come? I don't know. But good thing we have some arrows of our own. Might be trouble about. How is the dialogue sound? versus, like, the ambient sound effects in, like, music. Because I can turn other volumes down so that the, uh, dialogue is louder. 
Oh my god, is this a truck? Is this a car? Oh my gosh, look, it's a pickup truck. There's a ladder. But can't reach it from here. Nothing a well-placed arrow can't knock free. Just have to target the lock. Oh god. After you. Things are creaking beside me. I wonder where we are on the world map. We need to find a way in. So, um, what happened after I left Meridian? Well, there was a fuss when people realized you were gone. But then some of us figured you only would have left if it were for something important. You were right about that. Errand? Aloy, you're not gonna ask about your himbo? Please, what's wrong with you? I hope I don't have to wait to Not see him. Through that way. I hope it's not going to take a long time to be reintroduced to my boyfriend. All right, I forgot I could do this. Oh. Rope ladder stowed and tightly secured manual release required invulnerable to projectile force. Okay, I remembered that I could hold my focus and do this. So there's a rope ladder over there. Garl! Oh, what's this? Ancient compartment. Interior cargo storage protected by rusted metal covering can be dislodged by prying or projectile, imp projectile impact. Interesting! <gasps> Find anything good? Yes. Oh my god. This is this is so cool. I like this a lot. This is fucking neat. I felt like there was another one. Oh, the front of... I like this. I'm loot. It's, it's GTA, baby. We're looting cars. I think that's really neat. Because for sure there was shit, like, there were so many cars and stuff in Zero Dawn. Okay, where was this thing? It was over here. Come on. Nope. Can I just climb it? Aloy, over here. Maybe we can get into the ruin this way. Which way? Down this this way. way. Oh. <gasps> Hi, rogues! Get to the grass. Never seen one of those before. <gasps> A burrower! Me neither. <gasps> he looks like a weasel! Those dead machines have it on alert. How do you want to handle it? The focus. 
Lucas can help us. Can What's on her hand? Okay. Okay. See how parts of it are glowing? Those are its weak spots. Got it. Okay, concentrate. Okay, um, we are going to turn up <laughs> the aim assist. <laughs> motion aiming. Enable fine tuning options for aiming using the motion sensor function. No. Oh, yes, I want this. That fuck it, it like kicked the thing that I knocked off of it into Another my face. Oh god. Oh no, it's a rock. How does the focus know all that? It reads data on the machine. Data? Like a hunter studying its prey? Yeah, kind of. So after the fuss over me leaving, what did everyone else do? Well, as soon as the celebration was over, my mother led the rest of the Nora home. The Sun King put his people to work rebuilding the city. And I set out to find you. And errand? Varl. Someone shot this machine. Too. Read between the lines. Answer the question Aloy is too afraid to ask. Can I take my arrows back? That's the one thing that I like about Assassin's Creed is that I can take I another ladder. Looks like it's stuck. If I loot a dead body quick enough, I can take my arrows back. Got it. But it doesn't seem like I can do that here. Also, I have a bone to pick with Ubisoft. You said you've had a focus since you were a child, right? Yeah, I found my first one when I fell into a ruin. Got the others from an old cache not long ago. That's good to have extras. To give to your best friends and your boyfriend. Um, Ubisoft straight up made the most incredible man, warrior, Sparta. Sparta man. And then they had him die. And he wasn't even romanceable. I'll turn the music volume down so that the other volume is louder. Rogues, do you know who I'm talking about? And then let me... Brasidas, the Spartan warrior who is just like, you could tell he and Aloy, or he and Cassandra have chemistry. And then he, like, I know, like, historically, the character, like, he, he dies in, like, actual real time, in real world, in real ancient Greece, he died through here going into a ruin of the old ones god has protect us welcome to the we'll far okay, zenith march facility far zenith I, I know they made some tech trades with zero dawn but why would they have a backup of gaia please register with reception for the tour 
I guess they want us to check in with them? Far Zenith? Really? We're starting with this. <laughs> oh. Ash, is that your account? <laughs> Please hold for identity scan. Access denied. Please wait here for personnel to assist you. Dr. Sobek. Okay. I guess they weren't on great terms with Elizabeth. Well, let's find a way in. Uh oh, spaghettio. Uh oh, spaghettio. Please hold for identity scan. Shut up. Access denied. Credentials not recognized. Wait, did Varl try I guess it? Doesn't like me either. <laughs> Oh, fuck, Varl. You're funny. You're a funny guy. I should be able to pry this open. Hilarious. Why is it on fire? There's climbing gear. Guess someone dropped in from above. Okay. Whoever left this here might have also shot those machines we found earlier. So where are they now? Is it fucking Talana? Don't tell me. I'm not asking for maple syrup. But if this is how we've run into Talana, I'm gonna pee. Ugh. What's that stench? <laughs> that was perfectly timed, Varl, please. Entire camp. Wiped out. They must have come here to Del for scrap. <gasps> Acid. That explains the smell. Osiram! It looks like something big came in from above. Crashed right through the camp. And then through the wall. I should take a look at the rubble in that gap. <gasps> Hold on. Look, it's a little errand! Look at him. He even looks the same. He's got the same shape and everything. <laughs> Whatever came through here brought this down as it went out. If I can dislodge some of the debris, we might be able to squeeze through. Maybe I can find something to help in the camp. Aloy, over here. A weapon. I think I got something. <gasps> oh. It's some kind of Osram prototype, I think. This hook looks like it can latch onto things. The pull caster. And this gear pulls it back. Hmm. It looks broken, but maybe we can repair it. Hook it to the debris. And pull it out. That could work. The focus can help us search the camp and identify anything we can use to fix the tool. My focus picked up a couple of things to check out. Oh! Oh, God. oh this stuff Acid burns. Burned right through his armor. Oh no, I've been corrupted. Part of a machine could help fix the gears. Where's the rest of it? Oh, the rest of it is over here. A 
machine cable. Stronger than rope. All right, I think I have what I need to repair the tool. Or maybe even make something better. You could use this workbench. Of course. <laughs> of course that's not there just for show. Pull caster, special gear, legendary. Crafting complete. Special gear obtained. There. Uh, pull caster. <laughs> now to test it on the debris. Uh, pull casters. Uh, the pull caster is a versatile tool that allows you to uh, manipulate objects in the environment that have a graded pattern. Wield the pull caster, uh, hold L2 and tap triangle. <laughs> Fucking use your hands, Natalie. Clearly I'm too far away. Clearly. I am too- what is happening? Oh. Hey, this is going to... take some getting used to. Nope. Whoa. That worked better than I thought. Well, it doesn't look like there's an easy way out of here. I should scan the area. We have to find a way to keep going. Huh. What's this thing for? Don't touch it, Varl. What's that? A supply crate. I think I can use the pull caster on it. Oh, I might be able to get up there. <gasps> What's this? Whoa! Good morning. I'm Oswald Dalgard, and it is my pleasure to introduce you to Far Zenith. Forget what you think you know about us. Our truth is simple. We say reach for the stars, even if you have to cross 8.6 light years of space to get there. Please proceed into the auditorium, where we'll unveil our plans. Wonder what's in this auditorium. Guess we'll find out. <laughs> the way he says auditorium. Whoa. Wow, that worked. That pull caster is useful. Too bad there's only one. Oh! Don't worry, I'll find you another way up. Nope, just it's fine. You're fine. Where was that other thing though? Well, that door looks promising. But how do I get up there? It, oh, invulnerable. Manual release I didn't required. Think I can reach that ladder from here. Where was this? I don't think I can use the pull caster on that right now. No. Nope. Probably once I get over there. Hello, Alex the Observer. How are you? Can I go in here? Nope. Oh. Okay, I'm up here. Oh, up here. <laughs> that makes sense. And then another one. Can I go in here? Nope. Oh yes, jump, Aloy. Nope! 
playing too much Assassin's Creed. I'm good, thank you. It said press square, and I pressed... Circle! Oh god! Okay, I gotta drop the ladder for Varl. First... Okay, I'm getting used to this now. An ancient toothpick. There you go, Varl. Thanks. Uh, so I think this is my first stream hangout with you. So something you should probably know is that you're totally blind Twitch watcher, as in your eyes don't work. Is there anything that I can do to help your experience? <gasps> Look at it, it's so sparkly. Humans, <gasps> Homo sapiens, us. We have always pushed the boundary as explorers, pioneers, trailblazers. And now <gasps> Far Zenith is taking the next leap into the future. That's why it's here. It's here. Uh, Deadly Panda, is the side content well done here? Didn't really like it in one. Well, I have no idea. I'm still in the in the tutorial. I'm still in the tutorial in my 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 Regala edition just got here. Where's my skizzers? Oh my god. Wait, hold on. There's snow on it. I make sure I accidentally accidentally show you my address. Okay, I'll let you know when I'm done, Jill. It didn't even update on the thing, but I heard Steven coming up the stairs. Okay, wait. <sighs> Don't mind my sweater. I'm gonna use little scissors. <gasps> How do I? How do I? Oh. Is it this way? Oh, it's this way. Wait, hold on. Okay, I don't know how to open this. Oh, yeah, okay. It's like this. It opens from the side. Oh my god. <clears throat> nope, nothing's wrong with the delivery. It's here all in one piece. I just am struggling to figure out how to open the box. It is giant. I want to rip this. How do I... Okay, I'm gonna try and do it like this. This is, like, larger than my PC. Ugh. 
Oh my god, it's a box within a box. <laughs> okay, and then this is what? Oh, then, then this goes like this. <laughs> no, it's not. Oh, I did it backwards. Oh, I did it backwards. This was the front. Shit, I wanted to get a picture of this. I wanted to get a picture of me holding the box. Oh god! Oh god! I lost the piece already! Wait, what is this? Husk? Did this break off? Ow. Sorry. <laughs> So much tape. There's so much tape. Oh, they're pieces. I have to put these pieces back on. I, th there's some assembly required. So there's some pieces. I'm assuming this is his trunk and then some other things. And then I'll take out the little Aloy. There's a little Aloy. out first oh my god it's heavy so this is a tremor tusk it's a giant big elephant machine and like there's little there's little bandits on it there's three bandits and so i have to put the trunk on it and like a couple of other things which i'll do i'll do later because i don't want to futz with it right now Ow! <laughs> I hope that piece is not broken off. I'm gonna try and pull this out. Put this here. Take this off somehow. Oh, this is the instructions. It goes over here. And I guess, like, this is the stand that I can put it in. Then I've got more stuff in here. This is the steel case display box for the CD that doesn't come with this. If I ever get the CD... Is this... Oh, that's the code for the stuff. This is the code for the game. This is the Nora Legacy outfit. That's the steel case box. Super cool. It's cold. And then a little a comic book. An art book? I think this is an art book. 
Can't wait to look at that after. And then there should be, <gasps> oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. And then it's, then I got, Ugh. Then there's these two pieces of artwork. Bye, Zach. We'll be here all night. A feather and Aloy. And then... Oh, 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 oh. Wait, okay, we'll do this one first. Okay, this is a little bit smaller than I thought it was going to be. But a map. It's upside down. <laughs> a map. I guess of the Forbidden West. Not of Zero Dawn. So I gotta figure out where this is gonna go. We'll just put it there for now yeah it's fabric they said it's canvas um and then these little um I, I i now i understand what these are so this is a glint hawk uh strike piece for the in-game board game that exists and then this is a claw strider strike piece for the board game and i guess you can find um like them in the world and like in the game too to use in the board game <clears throat> and then this is the thing that i was most excited about there's nothing else underneath there is there oh my god so excited that i'm dropping everything aloy got me a focus too And it comes with a little stand. Okay, I'm gonna take this plastic off. Somehow. Oh, and so the tremor tusk goes, it like fits in this stand with this cool background. Then this all goes back in here. I'm just gonna kick that to the side. This over here. This over here. This. Back on there. I'm gonna put this over here. <sighs> yes, I can wear it. And it said it came with batteries. I think it's supposed to light up. And I thought it said it came with batteries. But let me move this up. I have my own... <laughs> My own dreidel. Wait, maybe. Oh, it has to go on this ear. On my right ear. It can't go on my left ear. I think that it does. How do I look? Do I look like Aloy? I wish it could go on this ear because this is the ear you guys see most. But there it is. Here's my little focus. Oh, man. All right, I can close my Purolator tracker. And it comes with a little stand. I 
that I'm assuming like it sits like this in the stand. And so that will go behind me on the nerd shelf, but for now it's going to sit right here beside my stream deck. Okay, I sent John all the codes. And I'm assuming that I will get access to the other stuff once I'm further into the game. I'm going to put my little claw strider in my Glintock over here in my little Aloy. So cute. I just wish that this came I mean, I wouldn't have been able to down like do the trade off with John that I did um if this had come with a physical copy. But it feels silly that like there's a steel case book but there's no physical copy to go with it. <laughs> like there's no disc to put in it. So I don't really know. <laughs> I guess it's just, it was, uh, yeah, I think it was 200 USD. It was 259 Canadian or no, it was $300 Canadian. And then with taxes and delivery, it was $355. But that was my birthday gift to myself with money that I got for birthday and my Christmas. Um, for birthday and my Christmas. Um, it was like, I, I haven't made a large purchase like that in a very long time. And so that was my gift to myself. And I mean, the last night when I was essentially crying over the fact that I was afraid of when this delivery was going to come and I didn't know if the storm was going to delay it. I was like, this game means so much to me. And then he was like, until the next game comes along. And I'm like, yeah, but that won't be for like another two years at least. And then today there was the speculation, unconfirmed, not from Bioware, that Dragon Age 4 is supposed to come out in 18 months. So, I mean, this is my large purchase for myself for now. If Bioware puts out like a collector's edition, uh, an Arlathan edition, Tevinter edition of Mass uh, Dragon Age Four, <laughs> uh, I, I might be making another big purchase for myself. <laughs> but. I mean, I've got I've got 18 months to save for it. So, yeah, take it with like a huge grain of salt. Holy shit. I I feel ridiculous right now. I'm so happy. Thank you so much for watching the video and don't forget to like and subscribe if you enjoyed it. I'm hoping to get the channel to 500 subs by the end of 2022 and your support would be so helpful. And just a reminder, if you want to watch me live on Twitch, I stream Sundays, Wednesdays, and every other Fridays at 8 p.m. Eastern at twitch.tv slash ohthatnatalie. Thanks so much. Bye.